so you guys can see that on this store right here we have about 15,497 us dollars in sales and i'm choosing to record this video right now as at the time of you watching this video because i want you to see practically what can happen to your shopify store when google literally pushes your articles up to the front page and actually the top of the front page for keywords that directly or indirectly promote the products that you sell on your shopify store so this is the kind of money you can start making in a very very short period of time because seo takes a little bit of time but once the time frame is finished it's gonna go boom it's gonna just go up right just like you see on the screen right here it went flat 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 and it went up and i want to mention that this project right here is a project that i'm not the only person running the store right it's a joint business so it's kind of something big that's what we're working on right here but i wanted to show you guys this to kind of show you guys that shopify seo actually works and i'm gonna go ahead and click on reload right here because i know the internet police is gonna come after me if <laughs> i don't reload my screen so i've actually clicked on reload right here and you can see that this is actually real money right here i want you to know that what you're about to watch right now is a full step-by-step -step shopify seo optimization course guide tutorial or whatever you might want to call it just know that i'm going to give you a boatload of information and i'm going to give you practical steps i'm going to show you what software to use where to go what to click to get your shopify seo optimization right and actually get your store to the point where you can literally get in front of the exact customers who are looking to buy what you are currently selling on your shopify store once these customers of yours search for stuff on google and yes i know you might have run into all those videos on youtube where they make the whole seo thing seem complicated but but in this video here, I'm going to be showing you a three step process, practically three that can actually help you make use of AI to make your Shopify SEO endeavors a success. And yet before we get into the real deal, I want to just make this thing make sense to you because recently some research was held and it was actually found out like from data collected that most small businesses do not have the budget to actually pay SEO agencies at about a minimum, minimum of three thousand dollars per month to outsource their seo stuff and all to actually get them to a point where they're gonna be making money from their seo endeavors and this research was actually held by inc.com inc.com and according to inc as well it was found in a separate research that about 43 percent of all e-commerce traffic i'm talking about traffic of people that want to buy stuff comes from search engine guys literally 43 percent of all the buying going on in the world comes from search engines that's why seo is a very very big topic and if you're thinking that seo is hard seo is this seo is that just wait until i show you the new approach that we're actually using right now the softwares we're using everything we're doing right now to actually get the type of results that i showed you in the beginning of this video one thing you should know is that if your e-commerce store your shopify store or whatever you're selling is not getting at least half or up to 40 percent at least of its traffic from organic search that means you're literally paying for the same traffic that your competitors and people who sell the same thing as you are literally getting for free on the internet and that is because you're not paying attention to seo but the good news is that you've actually found this video today because like i said i'm going to walk you through everything you're going to need to know step by step like i said a three step process that's what we're gonna follow in this course that you're about to watch right now and like i said the best part of this whole thing we're gonna do today is that i'm gonna show you a software that's gonna make sure that you don't even do most of the work you're not gonna spend hours and hours and hours looking for gems there's softwares out there that's gonna make use of ai to streamline everything for you and make everything easy for you so that you actually get to a point where you just come in you know exactly what to do and the software still helps you do it right so we're gonna be making use of ai in today's world to actually get our shopify seo right and actually get it to a point where you're gonna start getting real results and yes without wasting much more of your time let's get right into talking about the first part of this three-step process that we're gonna take in order to get our shopify seo right so now to actually get this three-step process done we're gonna be using a brand new shopify seo app that the people who are actually making a lot of money with seo on their shopify stores have been using but are actually keeping quiet about because they don't want it to be talked about too much because they don't want a lot of competition you know people that are winning with seo they don't want to talk too much but i feel like um 
I can still talk about this because me talking about it doesn't mean that you are going to directly compete with me because you don't know what I'm selling. You don't know where I'm winning. Right. So where's going to be an issue is if I came here and showed you my exact store, what I'm selling and all those things. Well, here I'm just going to focus on giving you guys the SEO content, showing you guys what this brand new app is, how the app works, how you can use it to your own advantage for your Shopify SEO optimization and actually get to a point where you're getting results so that you can go and apply this to whatever store you have, whatever you're selling and actually start getting results for yourself. So this right here that you can see on my screen here is the new app that we've actually been using for this store that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. And you can see that it's called boardroom. So it's called ecom boardroom. So ecom boardroom.com. That's where you have to go. Obviously, I'm going to link it in the description. It's going to be the first link you're going to see in the description of this video to make it easy for you. And yes, now that you're here, you can literally see what it looks like. So boardroom or ecom boardroom, however you might want to call it, is a Shopify app that solves the whole Shopify SEO problem and actually makes it very, very inexpensive to implement a comprehensive Shopify SEO strategy. And this literally applies to all kinds of Shopify stores out there. So anything at all you're selling, you're going to be able to use this to implement comprehensively a very very effective seo strategy to your store and don't worry i'm gonna break everything down for you right here in this video before we get on to that i also want to let you guys know that if you come to think about it you're gonna realize that all the tools and features and functionalities that this ecom boardroom app that i just showed you guys now gives to you are way less costly actually 150 times less costly than what most e-commerce brands that make use of seo agencies actually spend on a monthly basis and the best thing about this platform is that they have a hundred percent no commitment free trial so this is how you actually know good companies companies that actually solve problems for you they know that their product is good so they're going to give you the opportunity to actually test and see for yourself that okay this thing can actually help me implement an effective seo strategy to my store so that is why they give you a no commitment free trial a whole seven days of trial so once you're done watching this course and once i'm done showing you how we can use this ai app because it's actually an ai app to implement an effective seo strategy on whatever store you have you can go over there get the free trial sign up see how it's gonna affect what you're doing and you can come back to this video later and thank me probably a few months from now when the things the actions you're gonna be taking right now start telling on your sales right there so like i said link to ecom boardroom is gonna be down below in the description of this video first link you're gonna see right there just look below the video you're gonna see the link and now that you know that we're gonna quickly get right into the first step of this three-step process that we're gonna be implementing in this video course and to make sure you actually understand what we're going to be doing in these three steps i'm going to break it down in such a way that even a baby even a kid in nursery school is going to practically understand what i want to teach you here because i want you to understand click by click where you should go and what each action you're taking is going to actually do for you so i'm going to take the time a few seconds and explain to you with real life examples how this thing is going to work so practically the first thing i want you to understand here on my whiteboard right here is how customers search for stuff so think about this from the perspective of someone that owns a dog let me say you have a shopify store where you sell dog clothing you you you, you sell dog socks and stuff like that right definitely people are going to be out there when they want to buy something they don't just go to a random uh whatever a random site and just buy whatever unless they've been buying from that site in the past right what most people would do first of all is they would go over to google they would ask a couple of questions so these questions could be probably uh, mary right here is a lady here's her gown right here so she could probably go over to google as a dog owner and she can type in something like what are the best dog socks brands out there so if mary is searching for that what are the best dog socks brands with a question mark right there the people that are gonna come up at the top of google are literally the people who are going to help her make her decision so you need to understand how these things work so if you get to a point where you're getting your your blog or your shopify blog because you can actually have a blog on your shopify store to come up for those search terms we can basically write an article that's going to explain to mary 
and maybe 1,000 other people like her who search every month and say to Mary, hey Mary, um, there's a couple of brands out there that are already popular, but this is their disadvantage. This is why people do not like this brand. People actually complain about this when it comes to this. And this is why this brand is better. And guess what the brand that is better is going to be your own brand. But when you're doing this kind of marketing, you have to make sure that whatever product you're actually selling to people actually makes sense so that you don't end up lying to people and getting a bunch of refunds at the end of the day because it's going to be pointless putting in all this work using ai using a boardroom to get yourself ranked and then getting to a point where you then start giving people refunds so first of all do your own path on making sure that your product is good making sure whatever you're selling is actually very very helpful to the customers and once you get that part right you can then start popping up in front of people strategically so maybe right now is someone that or okay i've forgotten her name but practically this lady right here is someone that owns a dog so she has searched for something like what are the best dog brands you know that this keyword is a keyword that is going to be searched for by people who are want to who are planning on purchasing dog socks and you as a dog socks owner like i've explained here you want to pop up in front of them so the reason i'm explaining this to you is so that you understand intent you understand how customers search you kind of have to understand this because when you understand this you're going to know how to reply their questions and how to strategically and naturally place your products into the articles that you're going to be ranking on google for your shopify seo store right so now that i've literally explained this that is practically how customers search so if you have any question about this part right now you can ask me in the comments right if i'm not able to answer i'm gonna have someone answer because i might actually be busy with a lot of other parts of my businesses right there so now that you guys know that that is how customers search and apart from you understanding how customers search i'm gonna need you as well to understand why customer intent is important so intent is practically intention the intention that is what we mean by intent so customer intent customer intention right so when a customer goes into google and types in blah 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 what are they trying to achieve right so someone like mary right here might have types in what are the best dog socks brands and another lady here maybe uh, this one is clara there's another lady right here this lady might on her own end be searching for um um maybe um blue blues dog socks review right so she might be searching for blues dog socks review right so if you understand what clara wants you know how to speak to clara in your articles right because if you do not speak to them the right way it's pointless ranking because you might rank and they're gonna read your article and they're not gonna still buy your stuff at the end of the day you wasted your time so you need to understand these things before we get into the actual ranking right so when someone is searching for a review you have to ask yourself what does she want to know and how can i naturally sell my brand to her so for example clara is searching for blues dog socks review she wants to know if blues dog socks is kind of legit are they do they actually are they quality do they have quality socks for dogs are the are the are the socks that they're gonna sell um a last you understand this kind of thing so you can actually write an article be in front of clara and tell clara that hey clara um these guys their socks are actually good but they actually have this fault and that fault and that fault and this is how my own brand is actually going to help you solve that problem because we've actually taken our time to improve on this floor and that floor and that floor i hope like it, it, it makes sense to you right i'm kind of trying to explain to you why you have to understand intent so each time you understand intent you actually get to know how to best position yourself in what you're writing and what you're typing so that the customer gets to naturally get sold when they actually read the piece of content that you're gonna rank because like i said it's totally pointless if you end up ranking these things and people read it and they just read it and go they don't end up hearing about your brand or buying from your shopify store right so now that you've understood 
intent what intent is intent is very important so the next thing i'm going to need you to understand is something called a topical map so this is something that a lot of the shopify seo videos that you're going to see here on youtube or even courses that you pay for are not complete they are not complete because they are never going to tell you about topical maps a lot of people are going to tell you hey um just go for the money keywords go for the money keywords now what money keywords are are keywords that when people search for them they are obviously looking to buy something right and a lot of people are going to tell you to focus on those money keywords but they are wrong because i've been doing seo since i was a teenager and i know from experience that google respects you having a topical map what a topical map is is articles around all the topics in your niche right for example if you're trying to rank for best dog socks or best dog socks brand you have to literally have other articles answering other questions that relate to dog socks that way in google's eyes you're going to look like an authority because if you just come and write just one article best dog brand google is going to see you as an empty vessel because there's no reason for them to trust you as opposed to someone else your competitor who has written an article that literally is about best dog socks brands and then has 50 other articles that are literally about other questions about dog socks the other guy is going to appear as an authority in google's eyes because they have more content they are providing more help to users so naturally they're going to have more trust in google's eyes as opposed to you and when it comes to seo when it comes to google trust is the main thing right these are things you have to know not a lot of people are going to tell you this here so leave me a like if you're watching and yes now that you know this don't get scared when i say 50 articles because like i said we're going to be using ai to actually speed things up right and don't worry i'm going to break everything down to you right here so now that you understand what a topical map is i want you to pay attention to what i'm going to say right now because what i'm going to say right now is the major thing right so apart from content and topical maps and all these other things right the king of all these things is trust like i said trust is the game google wants to show their users trusted content and how do you build trust you use something called backlinks and this is why people run away from seo but like i said the platform that i showed you guys ecom boardroom literally makes everything easy you can literally do everything inside of there which is why i said it's going to be a three-step process but before we get into the three-step process i wanted you guys to kind of understand these basics because without these basics the whole other um thing that we're going to be talking about here like the actual ranking is going to be pointless like it's going to be totally pointless because if you do not understand these basics the other one is going to be pointless so now that you know all those things now that i've pointed out these things right here we're now going to go ahead and get right into the first step because once you get into the first step and you get all those things that i've talked about right like understanding how customers search understanding their intentions which is intent making sure you create a topical map and making sure you gain trust by getting high quality backlinks you're going to be able to seamlessly integrate your shopify products into these articles and deliver value to the customers who are searching while still selling your product which will in return print money for you now doing all these things like writing reaching out getting backlinks and all those things is like why seo is hard that is why it is hard that is why it is time consuming and people hate seo the most because it takes time right but like i said like i showed you guys here on my dashboard you can see how things were flat and all of a sudden we started making sales right here and that is the power of seo but if you are actually able to implement the things that i'm going to show you with boardroom today the way i'm going to show you and actually exercise a little bit of patience it's not going to be long you're going to realize that you're going to actually start ranking because like seo is kind of straightforward when you do the right things gain trust it's only a matter of time before google shoots you up right there right so now that you know all these things now that i've explained these basics to you we're gonna now get right into the first step of this three-step process proper the first step of this three-step process which is going to ensure that everything you're going to need to rank your shopify stores at the top of google is tackled from the point where you start doing research to the point where you get high quality backlinks coming 
onto your Shopify store. And without wasting much more of your time, do not forget to leave me a like right here and let's get into step one. So basically, when you come onto boardroom right here, you can see what boardroom is basically. So like I said, they have a 100% non-commitment or no commitment seven day free trial because they actually confidence that what they offer you is actually going to deliver a lot of help, a lot of growth to your Shopify business because this is Shopify SEO put into one simple box for you. So when you come here, go ahead and click on where it says start free trial. And when you click on where it says start free trial. So now I just enter your name right here. So my name is Daniel Ume. So here I'm going to put in my, uh, email address and when i put an email address you go ahead and confirm your email address right there so business name i'm gonna put in this one right here so here it says preferred currency right here so you choose what you use i'm gonna leave this at the us dollar click on here click on where it says create my account right here and when i click on where it says create my account you should create an account real quick but i already have an account with ecom bodrum because i've actually been using them for the projects we've been working on right here so i'm just going to go back and i click on where it says sign in and sign into my account so now that we're here inside of my boardroom account you can see this is my account right here so it says but you still have any prior sales i'm just going to click on not right now so you can see what we literally have here. So when you connect this to your store, it's going to pull your data. So I have a couple of stores connected here. So it's going to say your names, boardroom. So now that we're literally here, right? What we're going to be doing, the first part of this three step process is actually doing your keyword research because keyword research is how you understand what your customers or people who have a very, very high chance of being interested in what you're selling on your store are searching for on Google, right? So when you understand these things, like you're then going to have to go ahead and understand what keywords are going to be easy for you to rank for, right? Trying to do these things manually, you're going to spend hours, hours upon hours like i'm talking about hundreds of hours if you want to do it right if you want to actually do it right and get results or you're going to have to hire a team that you're going to have to be paying a lot of money or you're going to have to pay an seo agency a lot of money per month recurring to handle this stuff for you but with ecom boardroom it's made easy and you can literally filter out okay and tell e ecom boardroom okay i want keywords that are practically easy to rank for right and you can go for those ones and forget about the other ones but don't worry i'm gonna practically show you how to get it done right here so now that we're here what you're gonna have to do is to come into your account go to here where it says um ai tools you can see where it says keyword research go ahead and click on there and when you practically click on there what's gonna happen is that it's gonna bring us here so you're gonna have to choose your market so depending on who and where you want to sell to the target market you want to focus on as an e-commerce entrepreneur you're going to have to choose your country right here. So you can choose the UK, Egypt, uh, United States, Burkina Faso. So literally there's a lot of countries here. So you get to choose whatever you want right here. Right? So I'm just going to leave it at the United States. Then here, I'm just going to go ahead and type in, um, dog clothing right here and click on generate. So you can see that keyword research. Normally you're going to have to go to Google keyword planner and all those things. And start looking through hundreds of thousands of keywords manually but this tool does it for you you see how it saves you time right so you can see that here just put it in the keyword dog clothing you can see that we've we found dog sweaters that in the united states is it's being searched for at about thirty three thousand times a month um dog clothing twenty seven thousand times um dog coats 14,800. Now, notice how boardroom at the same time gives you the ranking um, um, difficulty, right? So if you look here, you can see that here it's telling you that ranking for dog coats, content around dog coats is practically eight right here. If you want to rank like eight over hundred, right? That means easy. If you want to rank with ads, 99 right here um dog hoodies dog shirts dog dresses dog t-shirts dog pajamas right here so practically 
you can just go ahead and click on where it says create blog post right here right but like i said like i explained to you guys earlier google actually respects a site that has a topical map right here so if you're trying to rank for a particular keyword or a particular set of keywords right what i'd recommend you do is you figure out okay i want to rank for keyword one keyword two keyword three which are keywords that i know that if i rank for people are going to be buying my products through these articles right you want to then go ahead and figure out what are the other supporting content that can be written around this topic to make my website appear in the eyes of google as a very very big authority website in this topic so you find all these other supporting content and you write them as well and interlink everything right use internal links now internal links are practically a link from one article on your page linking to another article on your page linking to another article that way it's going to be easy for google to understand your website and see that okay this guy is the best he has the most information about dog clothing right and that way it's going to be easy for you to rank for your main money keywords when you are going to be going out there and getting backlinks and don't worry we're still gonna get to backlinks i'm gonna show you how easy it is with boardroom right here so practically this is what we call a topical map so i'm gonna write tm right here i i talked about a, a, a topical map earlier and why it's important this is why it's important it helps you appear as an authority in the eyes of google and yes so now that you guys know that that is what step one is all about so step one is doing your keyword research getting your 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 main keywords right so let me just go deeper a bit so let's say that we want to actually go and try to rank for dog sheds right here like dog sheds right here or let's go for dog coats since dog coat is like the easiest one to rank for what we can do is we can take this keyword dog coat we can just click on this star right here to save it for us and when we save it i can just take this keyword dog coats go to google search for dog coats right here and when i search for dog coach you can see ads there's a lot of ads right here but a lot of people when they search a lot of customers a lot of buyers are not just gonna click on one of these things here and buy something i know a lot of people are just gonna click and buy because it's trust google but at the same time a majority of them are gonna want to go deeper do their research and kind of understand so scrolling down here right now you can see you can see what it's looking like you can see that there is um um pets at home.com ranking here there's roughware.co.uk there's doghouse.co.uk there is um barbar there is a lot of these brands right here now if you take a look at here where it says people also ask this is where I get my topical map from right so when i click on one of these drop downs here you're gonna see that google is gonna automatically populate more and more of this um um, um uh, keywords right here that that center around dog coats right here so instead of just going after one keyword and writing one article a better seo strategy would be to write content around all these things and point them interlink them where they make sense and naturally integrate your products into these articles in such a way that it's going to still deliver value to people answer people's questions and most importantly provide your brand's products as the 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 thing that these people need right here so you can see that from this people also ask session that people are asking for uh things like is it good to put codes on dogs so you know that okay this person right now based on intent which i explained earlier is trying to understand um do i really need to buy a coat for my dog so it's beneficial to your brand to tell them that yes putting a coat on your dog is gonna make your dog warm it's gonna do this for your dog so you highlight all the pros i'm teaching you this so that you understand how to make your articles make sense to people and make your articles automatically sell your products right so you explain to them okay putting on a coat on your dog is fine it's this and that it's it's healthy and all you highlight all the benefits for them and they'll tell them that okay that um they should go and check out this article about the best brands or the best dog socks brand that way now you're linking to your 
one of your money articles which is about the best dog socks brand which were which in which you're you're gonna obviously highlight your own dog socks shopify brand as one of the best and that is why you have to make sure your products are good that's why i had I, I i emphasized on making sure your products are actually good right there so that is just for one keyword right here so this one says do coats actually keep dogs warm so obviously you're gonna tell them that yes it does and this and that and if you're considering getting one go and check this article out where i break down the best type of coats to buy for your dogs then maybe from that article you link to another one so you see why having a topical map makes sense right and having a topical map is going to allow you rank easily for a lot of keywords that you don't even know that people search for there's a lot of these keywords out there that get searched maybe 10 times a month 15 times a month nobody's going for them but by the time you have a hundred articles ranking separately for this micro low or no competition keywords out there you're going to find out that you're going to put yourself in a position where for example you have a hundred articles that's ranking for about keywords that's getting you at least 20 visitors per month so when you do the maths 100 times 20 visitors on each of those articles on average a month that's like 2,000 free visitors and these are buyers people that are in the mindset of buying like they're actually doing research they're asking questions they want to know if they should go ahead and make the purchase so you're finding hot customers at the right time in the right frame of mind right so this is how you find your topical maps right here so you click on you, you keep on clicking here google keeps on populating so what i do is i do this then i keep going deeper i keep finding um um keywords that make sense right then when i'm done i just go ahead and copy i just copy i copy like this simple simple stuff right then you find like a document or something and save these keywords right so i'm gonna use word counter right here i'm just gonna paste real quick so uh, you, you can see i have all these question based articles right here right so i'm gonna weed them out and weed out the ones that don't make sense and the ones that make sense and all so practically this is how you get keyword research done inside of um boardroom and then get a topical map outside of boardroom so now let's assume that you want to go ahead and go with dog coats real quick what you're then gonna do next is okay now we're done with our keyword research you guys understand how to do keyword research and how things work we're now going to move on to step two so step two is the part where we get to start creating content and like i say doing this thing right like implementing an effective and strategic seo um plan on your shopify store is kind of scary to many people because they think of how much they have to pay for content and this and that and blah 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 how much they have to pay for backlinks and all but like i said boardroom cuts down the price by 150 times and let me show you why why is because if you notice beside these keywords right here there is an option to create blog posts so for example you can go ahead and click on create blog post right now watch what is going to happen real quick boardroom is going to quickly load You can see that it's asking for the topic of the article the blog post uh article the primary keyword you want to try to rank for desired word count so how i strategically make sure that i'm being scientific about what we're trying to do for whatever store we're trying to grow is you simply go over to google you search for that keyword right there so for for, for example right now we've searched for dog codes right here and um you've looked here you see that the people who are ranking here is um petsathome.com so if you go ahead and open up their article you're going to be able to see what they've done so open up the next one so i normally open up everyone on the first page but to save us time in this video i'm just going to open up like the the, the top three which is this one petsathome.com this one roughwear.co.uk and this one here doghouse.co.uk so coming to this first one here that says a pet's house is trying to get me to do and i'm not a robot type thing so looking at these people's uh websites right here you can see that they have a page with like all this information right here right they have canada pushy dog puffer um 
stuff right here so looking at this right here we're gonna like check what they have so it says dog coats and clothing right here why we're kind of checking them is you want to always analyze your competition so that you understand what you have to do to make sure you are not overdoing and to make sure you're not underdoing you have to make sure you're in the middle you have to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do you have to analyze the competition and that's what we're doing right now so we've looked at here we see that they have the the keyword dog coats and clothing on the title of this page right here these guys here have dog apparel then they have all their uh, stuff right here right they have all these questions right here okay what are the best dog clothes which dog breeds need winter coats what so you see what they're doing these guys here let me click on accept but right here you look through here you see that they have um their own listed here as well right so from what i've seen here i think i'm gonna gravitate towards the kind of thing that these guys did right here so this is how we get to know that okay this is what is working these guys have a page right here that has dog apparel at the top and then they have all these things right here so we're gonna definitely go ahead and create an article titled something like dog dog coats right then we're gonna go and look at our uh, topical maps right here say says um the coats actually keep dogs warm right so we're gonna like first of all here say something like the best brands for your dog right or you say the best three brands for your dogs coats must read right so something like that must read right here right so uh blog post title i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna paste this here then it's asking me desired word count so what i'm gonna do what i normally do with this site here called wordcounter.net is i just go through what my competition has done for example i click on Control a here I'll copy what they have on their page and use wordcounter.net to check how many words they have so they have about 1103 words on that page right there all the content the entire content so now that i know that i'm gonna write something similar to that right here i'm just gonna put in maybe 1500 words then it says describe the tone you'd like to use to ai so here i can say be conversational and explain to the users why my brand is the best for them factually <laughs> then here it says any other instructions you can you can add um you you can tell ai to include the link to this product in my page highlight this and highlight that but i'm not going to go into all that here because like it's simple like it's simple to understand you know what to do just tell it what to do for you what you want it to do then click on generate blog post you're gonna see that it says generating content right here and while it's generating the content i want you guys to leave me a like if you like the way i'm calmly and slowly educating you guys little by little showing you guys what you should do where you should click how things work explaining to you guys what is behind what go ahead and leave me a like right and now that you guys have left me a like down below going back to the screen you can see what ecom bedroom has actually done for us right here so you can see it says dog cats the best three brands for your dog for your dog's coat right here you can see the article right here so company x dog coats right here so say brand y so you see what it did for you so it says the dog co coat uh dog coats right here so you can practically click on here where it says open seo editor and then here is where you can then edit so this thing is automatically connected to your shopify store which is why it's a shopify app ecom bedroom is an official shopify app so you, you connect this to your shopify store it helps you automatically publish it helps you make changes right here so they have an algorithm that actually gives you a score of like how good your seo is so looking at this um 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 seo rating right here you can see we're at 70 of 100 right here and you can see that 
all we're gonna have to do right now is look through this, look through this article change this to brand and make our own brand come out as the best right how the the gurus the real businessmen do business i i i try to practice that too is i can create three brands and i can <laughs> i can write articles and tell you that okay brand a is this brand b is this brand this brand brand c is this but i know that these three brands are my brands right so either one of them you buy from i'm making profit so this is how to strategically do business right so um looking at this right here you can see the things that they want you to do to improve your your seo you have to have um add on page links and this is what i was trying to explain to you guys when i was saying that okay you're gonna have to like links to other articles inside your article right there so the point is you make these changes right here add an image add all these things that i want you to do right here and once you're done right there you then publish which by clicking on here where it says publish to shopify like i said this is automatically connected to your shopify because once you create your account you're going to be able to connect that way it shows you your the amount of money you have on all the stores connected and like how things are going for you business wise so this is like a shopify kit this is something you must have if you're serious with your business right there so one thing i want to stress on right here one thing i want to stress on is you have to make sure you don't just depend on ai content right you know normally the old way of doing things was you go to freelance websites you pay writers or you hire in-house writers to write for you but nowadays with the invention of ai with the advancement of ai at the point where we are in today's world we can literally use ai to write but at the same time ai is not perfect ai can speed things up for you but you still have to use your own brain you can choose to do this yourself when you're still starting but as soon as you start getting money or if you're someone that already has a couple of big shopify brands uh a couple of big shopify stores you can easily hire people to edit the content for you make it more human for example you can see what ai did for us here it said um brand brand x brand y and the dog co right here so these are the things that a human being should then work on so it's giving you the framework that you should use it's doing the talking for you so what you're gonna have to do is to edit and then publish so boardroom can actually schedule for you and i'm gonna walk you guys through how that works but as for now if you want to integrate your products into this part you click on here where it says add products right here it's going to show you the products in your shopify store which is why i said you connect your store to make everything flow connect your store to boardroom that way it automatically does everything for you pulls products from your store and automatically integrates them into whatever article you're writing if it's an article that is meant to supplement your main money articles you just you don't need to add a product to that one you just write the article and link people to this one the main one right there and don't worry i'm still gonna demonstrate that before we move on to the third and final step because this is step two creating content so um, practically if you go ahead and click on where it says save right now it's gonna save the whole thing for you but here as well where it says inputs you, uh, there's a couple of things you can do here like your meta description and all you can use ai to write it and edit it right there so the it the meta description what it does for you is like it's it's the things that people see when they search like this thing you're seeing here this was gonna be pull, pulled up on google when people see your article ranking on google right there so um this is basically how it's done so click on save right here so as we've clicked on save uh you go ahead and click on create content i want to show you guys like the content part proper what it looks like so when you click on hover over um the menu right here and you click on like create content it's gonna bring you here so when you're here you have the option of using ai to write product descriptions for you creating an seo blog post writing emails that you can use to get your customers to buy more stuff because email marketing is something that we can actually implement to make more sales with e-commerce right so clicking on here where it says seo blog post right here you're gonna see that it's gonna pull up um, a page like this for us as well like something like the one we had before right here so to finish up this one right here assuming 
you've actually taken your time to edit and make everything perfect right you just come here click on where it says publish your shopify it's going to ask you for the store so you choose the store you want to like publish it so then you choose um the blog right there then you upload your image real quick then here the same meta description i talked about earlier just click on write with ai and in under a few seconds it's going to populate something for you right here which you can still edit to add a human touch to it then here you have the option of clicking on schedule for later or publish now so it depends on what one you want to do right there so that is literally how it's done that's how we actually get to create content right here so let's say that we've actually written an article trying to target the keyword dog coats right here and saying something like the three best brands for your dog's coat must read to actually create uh, some of those topical map articles to help make us look like an authority what you gotta do is you gotta go through your keyword list for example this article here titled is it good to put on uh quotes on dogs when copy that keyword go into boardroom right here paste that right here topic of the article put that right there and here where it says um primary keyword we're gonna put that right here then here is asking me for my desired word count right here so i can go ahead and do my normal computer analysis by putting in that keyword on google and when i put that thing right here you can see that this site here called pdsa.org.uk says does my dog need to wear uh, a coat to walk on winter walks right there so practically you can look at how many words other people have on their page and figure out how to write something along the same line of what they've actually written so you can see uh what these guys have it says vet q and a does my dog need to wear a coat right here so literally we go back into boardroom right here we can just tell boardroom to write 1500 words right here so it says the tone would like to use um we can tell it to be conversational right there then here we can tell it to add a link to my article that gives users the list of the best dog coats brands and lead them from that uh from this one after telling them and convincing them that my uh that their dogs definitely need coats right so you see how i'm being very very detailed telling ai what it should do for me i see if i'm talking to my va right so go ahead and click on create blog post you're gonna see what's gonna happen in a little bit of time it's gonna generate the blog post for us right here and while it's doing that do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications if you like the way i'm explaining these things to you little by little so practically you can see the article here called is it good to put coats on dogs right here so it says when it comes to taking care of your beloved furry friends we often find ourselves wondering certain parts are beneficial or not so you see how it's writing this thing very so it says reasons to consider putting coats on dogs it says maintaining body temperature protection from elements health benefits now you see the way it went from there doing exactly what i told you to do to practically saying choosing the right dog coats then you see how we've taken them from this question that they asked knowing that someone that is asking this question might be considering buying a coat telling them about choosing the dog coats and then tell them size and fit material uh best dog coat brands right so you see brand one brand two brand three then here you see where it says for a more comprehensive list of the best dog coat brands check out our recommended dog cloth brands article right so you 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 literally see what it looks like so you see that it actually put a link right there so if i click on here as a reader it's gonna take me to another article on my blog so you see how boardroom saves you time boardroom literally does the whole thing for you so here it has a conclusion and we can go ahead and click on publish as well add an image uh um um choose the store we want to publish to write our meta description and click on schedule for later or publish now if that is what we want to do 
right there so about images right here like there's a lot of ways you can get images done right there as for now the guys at ecom boardroom don't have that functionality for images but i think soon they're gonna have it done because I'm actually talking to your customer support telling that it's going to be beneficial for the users like me, me and you if we just get an automatic AI image generator to generate images for us right here, right? Like branded images and stuff like that. So this is something that is powerful right here. So this is step two. So step one was the research, keyword research. Step two is the content creation, which I've walked you through how I strategically do it to make sense. And I want to stress this once again because it's very important for you to know that do not just go out there and publish ai content you have to edit it you have to edit it to suit your own brand the way you want your brand to look to the public if you do not want to use ai generated images which they're gonna have soon you can go ahead and get your own in-house designers to do blog post images for you right there so that way you're constantly showing up when people are searching on google and luring them to buy your products from you naturally while still providing value to them so now that you understand this about creating the content we're going to move on to the third and final step of this whole seo strategy so step three which is the part where we actually go ahead and get backlinks because like i explained to you backlinks is going to build trust for you creating a topical map and writing articles about everything in your niche is going to build trust for you so once you get these two things right and you have your content done strategically and you understand people's intent and write your articles in such a way that it answers their questions and then pulls them into checking out your main money articles what's going to happen is that you're going to start to see growth it might take some time but once the growth comes once google starts recognizing you as an authority your articles are going to shoot up to the top of google for various keywords your traffic is going to go up the amount of people that hear of your brand is going to go up the amount of money that you're making is going to start going up suddenly right there and this is free traffic right? free traffic you don't have to worry about being in profit with facebook ads or stuff like that right there so how do we get this backlink so to make this thing very easy for you to understand backlinks traditionally what we would do what we used to do back then was um, which is still the normal thing to do right now is outreach so as someone that is in the dog niche you have a, a, a shopify brand an e-commerce brand where you sell dog clothing dog socks and dog stuff and you're constantly writing articles linking your articles together doing all those things that i've taught you right here right creating high quality content and building a topical map and doing all the things that i taught you here right what we would normally do in a normal world is you go out there and you hire an seo team an seo agency to go and do outreach for you right the goal of outreach is to get brands other websites other bloggers other people to link to your to your articles so that is what a backlink is when someone links to your article that is what a backlink is and depending on how strong how trusted that person's website is it's gonna tell on your website google is gonna see okay this trusted website is linking to this guy's website this guy's website must have a lot of good content so it's as if people are voting for you and a lot of the biggest websites the biggest players in the world understand this that is why if you check all the biggest websites forbes and the rest of them they have a lot of backlinks they take seo seriously because they know the amount of money that is involved the amount of money that is on the table right here so the ideal thing for you to do would be to go out there and manually by yourself reach out to people every day now the problem is that a lot of these people are not going to reply you secondly is that it's, it's going to be very time consuming for you right third is that you don't know how to negotiate it's going to be hard for you to build relationships with these people because a lot of them are going to want to charge you a lot of money right but when you actually outsource the whole thing it's gonna be easy for you right so you know that okay if i buy a certain amount of backlinks i'm gonna rank for this keyword right but the question now is how do you know how many backlinks you need to rank let me help you solve that problem when you go over to google right now for for, for example let's say that we want to outrank this page this page right here called petsathome.com forward slash shop forward slash pets dog whatever dog coats and clothing 
let's say we want to outrank these guys we'll go ahead and copy their url we go over to google and we search for ahrefs free backlink checker right there right so i want you to get an idea of how many backlinks you need to outrank these people how many high quality backlinks you need so we're going to paste this right here and click on check backlinks right here and when you do that right there what's going to happen is that it's going to take some time to load it's going to probably ask us to do a human verification so we're going to click on here and boom you can see that this particular page right here just this page has at about 21 backlinks and 95 percent of them actually do follow backlinks and these 21 links are coming from 17 websites so this gives you an idea of what you need to compete in your market right here so first of all you need good content which we have tackled secondly you need to make sure you're going for a, a, not too competitive keywords that's easy keywords to rank for which we have tackled as well with boardroom now the third part is backlinks which we're still going to tackle that with boardroom but before we tackle that i'm going to show you guys how to actually know how many backlinks you need for each keyword right so you can see that these guys have um 21 backlinks right here so you can literally see the backlinks right here right but these guys are gonna like they're not gonna show you everything they want you to pay right but i don't recommend paying for this tool right here there's better seo tools out there if you guys want me to make a video on that i can make a separate video on that let me know in the comments but this is not the best seo tool for your money right just that they have a free backlink checker that we, we we are actually using right now so looking at this you can see that these guys already have a domain rating of 73 so a domain rating is the entire strength of your website how strong your website is in general right so all the backlinks everything your website has put together that is what your domain rating is so these guys have a very very strong domain rating because they've been doing business for years right so as you're doing business as you're making money you want to be reinvesting more of your money into getting more backlinks that way over time over a long period of time you're going to get to a point where you're going to be on this level and at that point you're going to be a multi-millionaire because you can literally rank for a lot of keywords without even trying so it's actually worth doing right literally you can see the kind of articles that these guys have here so this is an article titled 30 great and work appropriate secrets hunter gifts so you can get this kind of backlinks right here linking to your own articles as well so you can see that the size that this link is coming from is a 52 domain rating site linking to their article this one is a domain rating 12 sites linking to their article this one is a domain rating three sites linking to their article this one is a domain rating 83 so practically you just want to make a list of the kind of backlinks you need then you want to go into um boardroom and click on this link to right here when you click on this link to right here what's going to happen is that boardroom is going to take us to their page where you practically tell boardroom hey boardroom go and do the outreach for me do everything for me i do not want to stress myself i want to focus on fulfillment and doing my maths and reinvesting my money right so we want to just focus on doing the fulfillment checking profits and loss checking how much we have checking how much we can reinvest into getting more links to rank for more keywords right there so you, you see how boardroom literally makes the whole process easy right so this is how to do seo in today's world right there's a lot of videos you're going to see they're going to tell you to go into google keyword planner and do this and that those things are time consuming those things are confusing those things are old-fashioned this is the new way to do things right here so see where it says boardrooms link building services right here so you put in the link to your article the one you want to get backlinks for right like i say take a piece of paper or a notebook look at the competition check how many backlinks you need the quality of backlinks you need then literally let these guys know right let them know here on boardroom practically what kind of sites you want these backlinks from which is which you, you can literally do here right so you can literally check okay um my competitors are getting links from this kind of sites you literally go to boardroom and tell boardroom okay get me links like this now you can see da20 links right here 
da 30 da 40 da 50 so you, you you see that here you can see that this one is a da 50 so you can order one da 50 link on boardroom right here for 350 dollars per link and trust me guys as long as you're doing these things right it's gonna be worth it because once you start ranking people are gonna be finding you like you're gonna be making sales on autopilot so this is how to do business in today's world and i'm showing you guys these things for free so leave me a like right here right so the competition here literally has a da12 link so we can go for that one right here and go for maybe a da20 link and put in quantity put in the anchor text now what an anchor text is is this thing you're seeing here so these guys are linking to um the article on this competitor's website uh with an anchor text that says a doggy jumper right a doggy jumper right here this one is linking to them saying dog coats clothing so these are the anchor texts they are using so you want to do something similar to what your competition is doing because you know that okay this is working this is what google is messing with right now this is what google loves right now so you want to do what google loves treat this thing like science and you're going to get results right there so literally you pull all those things in all the details click on add to cart click on checkout and sit back and relax and repeat the process over and over again and over time in a few months your shopify dashboard is gonna go from zero like this up you start making sales and i recommend if you're if you're trying to sell try to sell things that are costly sell costly things things that people are gonna spend a lot of money on because that way you make one sale you make a lot of profit right so this is literally a full seo optimization course guide tutorial video whatever you might want to call it but i'm sure i've actually explained this thing to you in such a way that a baby is going to understand now if you have any questions you can ask me if you want to get access to me if you want me to guide you with your business go over to www.scopyhustle.io and tell me what your problem is right there it's like my own solution service where i help you solve your problems for the right price so i'm gonna quickly stress on the fact that you shouldn't go to sites like fiverr.com and buy five thousand backlinks for five dollars because those things are not gonna work fiverr backlinks are bad backlinks right you want to get backlinks from real sites and there's networks out there but they keep it secret because they don't want google to figure out how it works because if google goes and says okay this site is selling backlinks they're gonna blacklist that site right and they're gonna treat it like a pbn if you're deep into seo you should know what pbns are and how much google hates pbn so these things are kept secrets but with sites like boardroom you can literally get these things done on autopilot and let your money work for you let your money speak for you in business right there that's why you have to do your math see how much you're making in profit see how much you have to reinvest into growing your site faster because the more backlinks you get the more everything on your site is gonna rank higher harder and the more money you're gonna make the more exposure you're gonna get on the search engines and now at this point just to give you a quick recap boardroom is gonna save you time boardroom is gonna save you money boardroom is gonna simplify your shopify or e-commerce seo for you boardroom is gonna grow organic traffic and at the end of the day it's gonna increase your sales so like i said to make it easy for you everyone watching this video boardroom is gonna be the first link you're gonna see down below in the description of this video first link you're gonna see at the top of the description right so you can either click on that link or just go to ecomboardroom.com whatever one works for you it's fine right you can even subscribe to their youtube channel on, on on youtube they have a channel where they have like a lot of videos teaching um like how to use their software and all so you can check those things out and there ladies and gentlemen is one of the most complete shopify seo optimization courses you're gonna find out here on the internet right i do these things for free because this is like what i've i've been doing since i was a kid right i have other businesses i do that's not youtube right now but like i still do these things for you guys so if it's your first time seeing me my name is daniel Ume. i'm an internet marketer i basically sell things on the internet both digital and physical products i'm a founder of a lot of companies <laughs> i'm mixed up in a lot of companies i do marketing for them and all so if you're gonna want to get a brain like me to help you with whatever you're struggling with like i said you can go to www.copyhustle.io i'm gonna link that in the description as well but 
as i said earlier the link to boardroom is going to be the first link you're going to see in the at, at the top of the description so um i hope this helps you guys like i said if you found this video helpful leave me a like you can share this video with any of your friends in facebook groups or communities or platforms or people that you know in real life that need help with shopify seo you can share this video with them to actually help them get real results because the things that i teach when implemented can actually yield real results so i want you to know this i want you to treat this like the way you treat courses you paid for because this is the same thing that, that they're going to teach you inside those courses right so at this point is the end of this video peace out stay safe link to boardroom first link in the description i'm going to see you guys in the next one